Welcome back, everybody. In this episode, I want to show you a cool genre of the car culture that started over 20 years ago. I'm not exactly sure when it started, but it's still going strong and getting better than ever. The creativity that these builders are putting into their cars or nothing short of amazing. So anyways, this is a uh, Jada Toys Road Rats version of the Rat Rat series. So I'll show you the first cars that I found. This is Jada Toys. It goes back to 2002. When I first found these at Toys R Us, there were two versions of the 56 Chevy. There were two versions of the 61 Impala. And I thought, these are cool because nobody else was producing 124 scale versions of cars like this. So I had to, I had to buy them. I couldn't resist them. And as you can see, they've got lots of nice detail on them. These are the two colors for 56 Chevy. There were two colors of the 61 Impala. This one was red oxide primer, flames, steel wheels, white, wide white walls. The second version was flat black with green pinstripes. But the taillights and the headlights were green. And I thought, man, eh, that looked kind of odd. So I passed it up, which... In retrospect, I wish I would have had it because then I'd have two of each of the first cars that came out. So anyways, uh, they came out with a series of cars over the next several years. And they're pretty cool. The unique thing about these cars were they had all the chrome trim replicated. Which was very cool for any diecast manufacturer to do at the time. This was a very cool car I loved when I found it. Includes extra wheels for customizing. So they came with a screwdriver, wheels, extra axles, and they had figures in them. Well, they came with uh, plastic cases, plastic bottoms of the cases. Well, they continue that, but they included a figure with them now. This is the She-Devil. This is the Jada Toys cool guy that appeared on some of the packages. And then they continued the line, but you didn't have the case anymore. But you still have the figures. Plastic base. So, Wolfman. <laughs> and you had this cool guy. And there were four of them that I found, including the Cadillac. With extra wheels for customizing. They didn't have the plastic case anymore, plastic base, but they had the two, two, what am I saying, two? I found five vehicles with the figures. Well, this one came with a devil. You see the extra wheels, the screwdriver, extra axles. Well, I didn't want to mess with this one because, well, you don't want to mess with the devil, do you? <laughs> Anyways. So this one came with 
moon disc and steel wheels which I actually put on this car and they were pink pink to match the pink pinstripe and uh, they look cool enough but I thought nah I like the moon disc better on this this one so I thought I'm gonna make my own road rat version so they come up with other series with old school which was completely stock but lowered with large diameter wheels low profile tires uh, this is one of them now this is not in the original box but they had a copper version copper collar version with the copper roof they had a metallic orange version with the white roof so I had to buy two of each and the orange one with the white roof I thought I'm going to customize it so I took the copper color roof off of this car replaced the roof with the white one now the 53 Bel Air the paint and the roof were the same color for the trim so Jada Toys never made a copper color one with a white roof and I thought well this is pretty cool and so I just stuck it in this box because uh, the other box I, I guess threw away something whatever but I kept one copper color version with copper roof and an orange one with white roof in the original packages and so uh you see the chrome trim, it's fairly scale accurate. Well, what they had to do was cut channels into the metal body so they could insert the chrome piece with pins and make it look more scale accurate. Well, I decided since they come apart, Everything's held together with screws. You can take the wheels apart. Uh, this one. So metal chassis, no plastic chassis, sorry. But metal axles, custom wheels. And then if you see, there's actually two holes. There's a top hole, bottom hole. So you can make it stock height or lower it. The top hole, if you take a metal file, a round metal file, you can actually lower the car even more. And essentially this is a metal model kit. So the hood hinges are screwed on. Now, I'll take this off. You see the doors have hinges screwed together, dashboard screwed together. So you can take it apart and do whatever you want. So uh, I took some JB Weld to fill in all the grooves, all the channels that were molded into the body. And as you can see from the door, you can see where the chrome was, where the metal is a little thicker. Oh, there you go. So I simply took some JB Weld, which is meant for repairing metal parts, pieces, even engine blocks. Because on the back of the package, it shows you You can use it for whatever metal repair you need. Well, it's a two part. System where you squeeze equal parts, mix them together. So I was able to fill in all the grooves in the body. And as you can see, There's the hood ornament. Oop. 
food ornament emblems everything on the side the back you know you got the chrome trim piece well I was able to fill all those pieces in file it down so now I made essentially a stock body with no chrome on it I left the chrome on the bottom piece so it highlights the low stance of the car. Anyway, so this is still a work in project, uh, in progress. I made the mistake in the previous video. I was trying to <laughs> trying to not make that mistake, but you see, so you got the engine piece, which is one piece. I believe the air cleaner is separate, but. It's like a model car kit where you can do whatever you want. You can add pieces, add trim. So anyways, uh, this is a fun collection of cars. You can leave as is in the package or you can take them apart, mix and match pieces. This is one of my favorite ones. 59 Cadillac. Flat black. It's got a pearl white roof. Chrome, purple, accented interior pieces. This one came with custom hubcaps that were available in the 50s for customizing because they didn't have custom wheels back then. So either you painted the steel wheels red, added baby moon hubcaps, chrome trim rings, white, white walls. Or you bought these hubcaps that were very cool at the time. This Cadillac came in the customizing package. Didn't have a figure, but it came with sombrero hubcaps. And so I thought I'd make another rat rod version of the 56 Bel Air. I took an old school shiny version with large diameter wheels and tires. And I took it apart, painted it gray, primer gray, and I used the sombrero hubcaps that came on this car. And I thought, well, okay, I made a cool third version of the 56 Chevy. Yeah, so anyways, uh, that's my collection of road rats. Now, if you like these old school hot rods, rat rods, customs, there's a YouTube channel that I highly recommend you check out. It's a young man who actually has an appreciation for old school cars. His channel features old school cars from different car shows from around the USA. And he talks with owners and gets no why they built the car the way they did, why they love their cars. And because of this uh, current pandemic, uh, they're not allowed to have gatherings, sports events, whatever. So he has a new format where he has viewers send in videos of their cars, old school cars, Chevy pickups, old school customs, whatever. And they explain what they did with their cars and what their cars have. It's a very cool YouTube channel. So check out Generation Old School. And if you love these, you'll love the real cars even more. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.